Abelito. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, today, very nice. Very Thank nice. Thank you for us. Okay. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. How have you been, teacher? Uh, very well. Thank you so much for asking. What about you? Uh, but I come back, teacher. I come back. Okay. No, ya, ya regresé. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. I, I, oh, I'm back. De regreso. I am I'm back. back. Mm -hmm. okay. I am back, teacher. Okay. How was yesterday? Uh, in my house, house teacher. Did you rest? A little bit because in previous to the November one, I was in the, I don't know how to say, Vela. Vela. Mm. Or, or, Sí, I don't know how this say better. Let me see. Funeral? Yes, funeral meeting, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, we're in a funeral. Mm -hmm. Yes, I joined uh, uh, relatives, mm -hmm. right? So because yes. uh, passed away the father of my cousin. Mm-hmm. Yes, in in second grade maybe. The, the about to relatives gene, in logical tree. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome back to this Thank class. You. Okay, so this is the class twenty two. Okay. So let me share my screen. Only two teachers, only two with Gilbert. Only. Gilbert only. <laughs> only the with rest. Me. What about the rest? They are they <laughs> are uh in I don't know. But I hope they can join us later. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Almost finishes know... this model, right? They know that we have classes today. Yes, we are missing just four classes this this day, and uh, Three Monday, more. Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three days more. Teacher, this model is intermediate, so very long, right? Are very it's long. Like, uh, uh, 44, 44 days calendar. Mm, 40 45 days. maybe 45 day calendar um no, no. Media. 30 35 i mean five weeks 35 mm -hmm, because it has five days uh, five weeks five mm weeks -hmm. almost 40 days right mm, okay mm -hmm. yes yes and then you will pass to intermediate three. Wow, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I want you get it, Joe, teacher, in a call center, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you want to you want to work in a call center, right? Yeah, so but you... my stomach become a little bit like a fear, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine when the gringo told me something, a lot of things. And you and don't I don't, understand. <laughs> and I don't understand. <laughs> yes. No, it's but really I mean if that if if you if you want to work in those in these places, yes, you can do it. So the first time is a little difficult, but yeah. then you get experience and that will be easier for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> como le digo, o ojalá. Maybe. Ah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. it will happen. If if that is your dream and you work for it, you will get it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes, I would like to work maybe um, part-time could be. Part-time, yeah. It, in a part-time, it's more relaxed because you work just six hours and then you are free. But six hours? Six uh, hours. Six hours, okay. Mm -hmm. The style, uh, what time the start? It depends of your of the schedule that you want. There are different schedules. Uh, it depends okay. also the line of business where you are. Because there are some line of business, they are just uh, during the day, for example. It could be between between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That is the, from Monday to Friday. There are another line of business that they are 24 seven. So it could be any time during the day or during the night. And there mm -hmm. are another business that they are just on only at night because maybe there are the, there is one call center in another country that they provide assistance during the day and they need just assistance during the night here. Oh, okay. Yes. For the, um, uh, I don't know. Horarios, usos, usos horarios. I don't know how do you say. Mm -hmm. Different kind of uh time time frame. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Welcome. I would Cindy. like to. Yes, Carlos. You would like. I, to... Mean... I would like to start teacher maybe machine five p.m. until midnight. Could be. Mm hmm. Okay, it could be. There are some jobs in this case, in this schedule. Yes, there are there are jobs that you can have. Uh, uh, if you were just six hours, it could be that you start at five, from five to to eleven, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Every day, or it, on Monday to to Friday, maybe. It could be from Monday to Friday. Or, or including can, week. including weekend, so you can have free uh during the weekdays. As I said, mm. it depends on the line of business. Okay. Ah, Depende okay. de la línea de negocios que, que ustedes apliquen. Ah, okay, okay. Because there are different line of business. It could be about health, okay, salud. It could mm -hmm. be about cell phones. It could be about uh um schools that they work also from Monday to Friday so it depends on that imagine I will have a social life <laughs> <laughs> well, only work 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 working work yes but at the end of the 15 days the cajero with a good sound teacher <laughs> okay <laughs> good okay thank you Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome Gilberto, Carlos, Cindy, Robert, Daniela, Gabriela, Maria Leticia, and Nancy. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, uh, I hope the rest can join us later because um, it is true that today is, is Friday, right? But yesterday you were free. We didn't have classes. So today is the last day of the week. And then we are missing just three days for the model. So please uh, try to be here, okay? Because your assistant is important. Um, I mean, your attendance, right? To these uh, classes is important. Okay, so the agenda that we have today, we have first a lesson objective, then we're going to talk about safety measures to control risk at the production. Uh, then at the end, we're going to practice conversation. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to provide safety measures to control risk at the production plant. Okay. Um, I have a video for you that is about say, uh, workplace safety. Let me send it to you. I want that you reproduce the video. In Finland, more than 20,000 accidents happen at work every year as a result of slips, trips and falls. These accidents lead to employees taking more than 350,000 okay. days off work. People typically stress... Uh, let me move this. 
this first. Okay. Okay, let me send the video to you. I will send it by the chat here in Zoom. And I will send it by the chat also in WhatsApp, okay? I will give you five minutes to place the video twice. Well, more than five. I will give you six minutes because the video has two minutes and 55 seconds, 56 seconds. You can reproduce twice the video and try to add the subtitles to have a better understanding. Okay, let me see. Here is the video, the, the link. Okay, I will be in silent, just waiting. I will give you six minutes from now. We have at 8.11, so I will be back at 8.17. Go ahead, please.
Hello, hello. Did you finish or do you need more time? Hello? Yes, it could be Maybe. one minute. One minute, please. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I hope that you have completed, right? So I have a few questions for you related to this video. First, I need that uh, a volunteer tell me what is the main um the what is the main topic in the video. What they are talking uh, about. Workplace safety. Okay. A workplace safety. Okay. So it mentioned one place in the video. What, what, what was the place? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? At the beginning. Fin uh -huh. Finland. Finland. Okay. Good. Uh, it mentioned the amount of accidents that happened at work. What was the amount, approximately? More than uh, 20,000 accidents. More than 20,000. Okay. And it says that the, all these uh, person or people who have accidents, they take around how many days from work? making a total average from uh, all of them. It says that they take around 350,000 days from work, right? Because they have a lot of accidents. And what are the main reasons for the accidents? Do you remember? Uh, yes, it's a false, mm -hmm. uh, sleeps maybe, sleeps. Sleeps, okay. Uh huh. Okay, but the main reason why they get us get this uh, kind of accidents. Why the why why is the reason that uh employees fault? Mm -hmm. It could uh, be in the yes. downstairs, uh -huh, downstairs or upstairs. Yes, teacher. Uh, I think it could be maybe uh neglect about the uh, administration. Maybe because a lot of employees uh, have a lot of accidents, right? In mm -hmm. some case, uh, very dangerous 
because it tends with her life. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So you need to be careful, right? Where where you walk. For example, some uh, causes of accidents, it could be a cable on the floor, right? If you don't pay attention, that is that uh, cable. So you can get, uh, you can have an accident, okay? Also the carpet, right? The carpet, las alfombras, okay? So uh, be careful with that and avoid to be in a hurry. So try to have enough time, right? To get to your job because in that way you are uh, um, walking as a normal, right? Not running. <laughs> okay, what else? What else we can do to avoid this kind of accident? Any idea that we can practice to avoid any accident? Teacher, I think that is very important. Um, give them our employees um, training, right? Okay, training, prepare yes. them. Yes, prepare them because uh, they know uh, ways to avoid accidents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good idea, Carlos. Someone else, another idea? What else we can do to avoid this kind of accidents at work? Yeah. Maria Leticia? Yes, teacher. The video shows that to avoid accidents, it is necessary to use non-slip materials to avoid falls of sleep, as well as have good lifting or like things and label danger areas. Okay. Only that. Okay, thank you, Maria Leticia. Another opinion, someone else? Someone else? Different opinion? How we can avoid accidents at work? Sure, I believe in the old companies. Uh, we have they have to um, implement a schedule or program that's uh, rela related with uh, safety, industrial safety, and maybe could be in the clubs uh, related relation with. Uh, maybe shoes or or clubs about to the work that the employees to do. Okay, yes. Use appropriate. Uh, yes, appropriate clothes. Clothes and shoes to work. It depends on the area where where they are working. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that's very important. The companies. Uh, will be implemented poorly. Okay, good. Because uh, maybe some people or our employees, uh, they don't uh, use correctly uh, or don't use appropriate the advices. Okay, I understand, yes. That will be one way to avoid any kind of accident, right? Good. So I have another question for you that is, um, 
are you manufacturing plants dangerous places at uh, places to work will a safety program prevent accidents what type of rules do you think a safety plan has okay so we have been talking about this so um, raise your hands if you consider that you work in a dangerous area in your work You, Carlos, why? Uh, specifically in my my area, not, but because it's the administration office. But uh, we have to close to the, uh, uh, I don't know, the, the plants of production. Mm -hmm. So uh, it have uh a lot of machine uh, is very dangerous because the noise or the 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 bad handling is very dangerous because maybe you could you uh, lost maybe uh, some part of their your body if you don't care with handling the, the machine okay I understand. So, but you don't have to go to that specific area, right? Just you are close, but you don't have to to go there, or or you yes, have uh, to to supervise. Uh, no, I I only check in and check out uh the old stuff. Ah, oh, okay, okay, good. Yes. Okay, someone else. No? Well, good for you if you don't work in that. Uh... Oh, Andres. Go ahead, Andres. Good, good night, teacher. Good evening. In, yes. my, in my case, teacher, I work in an office too, but we have different customers or in this, in my company, there are um, some words that some people have to develop. For example, the Goon Smith that has to breathe the guns pop power, I think that is guns power in polvora. Hola, how do you say polvora? Uh, okay, let me let me double check here. I guess I remember. Gun powder, maybe guns powder. Yes, yeah, yeah. Gun powder. I, I, guns powder. Yes. Gun powder. Yes, that is yeah, from, one of the uh huh. Yeah, from from the people that develop in my company, this job is very dangerous because sometimes they don't use the right equipment for develop mm -hmm. this job. And we have a one customer that I know that everybody knows <laughs> is Anda. So mm -hmm. some work, some yeah, some adjunct security agents that work there don't use the right equipment and they have to breathe uh, chloro and different uh, things that chemicals. are uh, toxic. Chemical yes yes. Uh -huh. yes and so there is very dangerous I think for it's not like an injury but for if someone breathe for many years those uh, things is bad for the health from them so it could be like an uh, accident too. Andres? Yes. Excuse me, uh, but uh, maybe you, uh, as a requirement, they ask for uh, diploma de la PNC, maybe? Before to... Uh... No, no, in this case, no, because they are in the wells of Anda. That is good, teacher. <laughs> wells are pozos. What do you want to say in Spanish? Uh, los pozos de anda. Well, in Spanish, yeah. <laughs> in español oh. le llamamos así. Well, pozos pozos. De anda. Yes. Wells. Mm. Ah, what are, what are wells? 
Mm -hmm. Water walls, yes. Water walls. In this case, Carlos, they don't need to use a weapon. They just develop the, the that the like a drum, the 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 machinery, and for that reason, we have water in our house. So they uh, operate this machinery. Okay. When they operate this machinery, they clean the water. They have to put on the water in the, in the machinery the different toxic products, and they sometimes they don't use the or the, or they don't have the right equipment for develop this job. Mm -hmm. Okay. They those those things. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Well. Um. So we need to, well, the government in this case, right, to need to invest more to to have a better, uh, in this case, employees, uh, security e e mm -hmm. equipment or equipment. Yes. Okay, I was uh, checking, but th these are no the ones that you that you are, are talking about. No. It's like that. It's like, it's like that teacher, but yes, yeah, similar, but it's bigger. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. It's a, a huge well. Huge. Yeah, huge well. Yeah. yeah. Huge. <laughs> huge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huge. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much for that information. So we're going to move on. Let me see what is in the chat. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Okay, I have here a conversation. So we're going to uh, read about um uh between it is a conversation between between two employees at manufacturing plant. They are talking about the new company safety measure plant. I need volunteers to practice uh, pronunciation in this conversation, please. Thank you, Andres and Carlos. So you are the first one and then we have uh, Maria Leticia. Okay, Andres will be Joel and Carlos will be Diego. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, detail. Give, how my safety Googles being Stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You have to go to the kiting. No, you have to be kidding. I'm sorry. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air protection gloves, reflecting vests. Protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tool in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit the skated tool upside the full room. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Goggles. Goggles. Or Google. <laughs> Go Goggle. Goggles. 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 It is like Goggles. a uh, uh. Goggles. 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 Mm -hmm. Those are special glasses that fit close to the face to protect the, the eyes from chemicals, wine, and water. Okay. Good. Do you have another vocabulary here that we can search? Teacher, this okay. racial bird taken away was me. Taken away is like uh, you or someone else take the, the in this case, these are uh, 
protections since right from the place where the other person left them um mm -hmm. they taken from that place so that is taken away right los agarré alguien más los agarró yes in the previous uh paragraph of that Joel says uh stolen stolen uh -huh. stolen uh -huh. is you know what is stolen that someone paid like and without permission robado, maybe. Mm -hmm. yes uh -huh. okay okay pay attention to the pronunciation goggles goggles okay good um let me see maria leticia and lady go ahead Maria Leticia, you are the first one and lady the second. Okay. He have my safety goggles being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tool I left around here have been taken anyway. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit, prohibit skater tools outside the tool room. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Maria Leticia, measures. Measure. Safety measures. Safety measures. Mm -hmm. Tools, okay. Remember that this is plural. Tools. tools, tools, other tools. Yes, and taking away. Taking away. Yes, yes. Pay attention to how to pronounce that words. Thank you so much, uh, both of you. Very good job. Okay, what is a scat scattered? Scattered. Okay, it is a covering a covering a wide area. Okay. It says yes, a new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Um Gilberto, you will work with Julio. Gilberto, you will be the first one, and then Julio. Okay. He have, have my safety goggles been so stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Ah, your goggles have been taken away. Uh, there are new safety me measures in the plan. You will. Go to big trading. What are those? Miss it about. Uh, you are required to wear air protection. Uh, air protection, gloves, uh, reflective bed, protection belt, helmet, jacket, uh, rubber box, air plugs, store tools in proper location. So, my Google and the other tools. I leg around. It have been taken away. Uh, yes. Uh, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tools room. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Gilberto. Goggles. Okay, goggles. Is this goggles. um yes, sound like ah, oh, okay, goggles. goggles. 
Okay, very good job. So what is, who can identify what is the grammar tense that we are using there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is present perfect tense, okay? So we're going to learn how to use the passive voice with present pe perfect tense, okay? Okay. So we have a question about this conversation. What item is Hoyle looking for? Goggles. Goggles, okay. What is the new safety measure about? Prohibited cattle tools outside the tool room. Prohibited. Mm -hmm. The tools uh, outside the tool room. Okay, very good. Yes, that is the one. In your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Mm -hmm. What is your what opinion did, about that? Teacher, excuse me. What's mean scattered? Scattered. What scattered. is the meaning of that? Yes. This is uh -huh, covering a wide area. Okay, let me search in another way. To have a better understanding. That will be scattered meaning. Scattered. Scattered. Okay, occurring or found at interval interval of various locations rather than all together. Okay. Um It is like, for example, yes, uh, Julio. Uh, about the three, the the question number three, I consider the uh, all uh, tools that will be a uh, will and represent a uh, a risk. Mm -hmm. Correct. All the tools represent a risk if they are like regadas, right? In different places. Yeah. So that is why it is Nails. it will be not allowed to to uh have the tools in different places. All of them need to be in the room that is uh -huh, for the tools, right? Or it could be disorganized. That is another meaning, uh, Carlos. Or messy teacher. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, thank you. Have it then in different places, right? Okay. Okay. Um, good opinion, Julio. Another opinion. What happens if if we have all the tools in different places? Not in the in the place that they should be. Teacher is very important. Organize all tools that employees use. Mm -hmm. So in other case, uh, we have problem or accident. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, that is true. Be careful with that. Also, it that applies for your house too. Okay, be careful in your house because sometimes uh, it happens, accidents happens, okay? Okay, good. 
So now what I want is that you look for uh, the definition. What is a passive voice and what is present perfect? Or when do we use passive voice? I will give you three minutes to look for the definitions. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will present these examples to you just to give you an idea. Okay, this is passive voice. Okay, passive, the example that we have, for example, this house was built by my father. Okay, was built by my father. This is the passive and the active is my father built this house. Okay, so as you can see, here we have uh, the direct sentence that says my father built this house, right? Okay, mi padre hizo esta casa, pero en pasivo lo pasamos a this house was built by my father. Esta casa fue construida por mi padre. Okay. So another example here. A hard day's night. Uh, okay. A hard day's night was written by the Beatles. Okay. Okay. The Beatles wrote a hard day's night. Teacher, mm -hmm. I can say uh, the mouse was caused by, by, a, by a cat. Was couch? Was caught by a cat. Yes, you can say that. This is mm -hmm. passive boy. It is that is passive. And how you will make make it active? Uh, could you repeat, please? How you will make that sentence active? Mm, I don't know. This may be in the mouse. Okay. Say again the passive boy, the passive uh, example. The you mouse. Can... Oh, the mouse. Was couched by a cat. Was couched. Bye, oh, okay. So, how you will make that sentence active? ¿Cómo la pasaría a una oración active, no passive? Ah, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, el gato atrapó al ratón. Uh -huh. The cat. The cat was couch. No, ahí no. era pasiva. ¿Cómo la haría activa? Eh... Ahí tenemos el ejemplo. The cat. Uh -huh. Couch this mouse. Uh -huh. Catch. Yes. Catch. Couch. The cat catch the, catch the mouse. Right? That will be in that way will be active. The cat catch the mouse the mouse. Okay. And, and in passive is the mouse was catch by a cat. Okay. Good. So that are examples of passive and active, okay? So now we're going to see the examples that we have here. It says, how to use the passive voice with the present perfect tense. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises. So the passive voice is used when the emphasis, okay, of the sentence it is, on the, is on the action and not on the subject. El énfasis del passive voice es en la acción y no en el sujeto, lo que estábamos hablando. Ok, si decimos the mouse was catch by the cat, right? So estamos enfocándonos en la, en la acción, en lo que pasó. ¿Qué lo? Fue. En lo que Fue pasó. Atrapado. Ajá. Y en la activa, no, estamos ahí decimos the cat, right? Estamos hablando, como nos enfocamos como el, en lo que hizo el sujeto. Okay. okay. The example here. Your goggles have been taken away. In contrast to they have taken your goggle, goggle, goggles away. Mm -hmm. Aquí lo tenemos... Activo, right? Y aquí la tenemos, pasiva. They have taken your goggles away. Okay? Your goggles have been taken away. Y aquí, ¿qué tiempo estamos utilizando? Presente perfecto. Present perfect. Ajá. Present perfect. In, in passive voice, en la voz pasiva, vamos a usar todos los tiempos. Okay? Aquí estamos haciendo énfasis en usar present perfect, pero podemos usar cualquier tiempo, ¿ok? So the difference is the, how you are going to make it passive. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? Que podemos usar todos los tiempos gramaticales en passive voice. Pero una, podemos pasar de, de, la, de la oración pasiva a la a, podemos hacerla activa. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahí depende de lo que, lo que nosotros queramos decir o lo que, lo que, la idea que queremos expresar y en qué tiempo la queremos expresar. Ok, it says, in the sentence 1A, the person who took away the goggles is not important. Ok, en esta... La persona que los tomó no es importante, ¿ok? No se le da énfasis. The fact that they were taken away is instead emphasized, ¿ok? Eso es lo que se le da importancia, ¿ok? Y en cambio aquí, aquí sí se menciona they, ¿ok? They have taken. Nos estamos enfocando a un, un grupito de personas probablemente que los tomaron. Y aquí no se menciona. Aquí lo que se hace énfasis es que se los agarraron a alguien más. Ok. Passive voice statement. Object plus have has been. Ok. Verb pa plus verb en past participle form. El ejemplo que tenemos acá. Have my safety goggles been stolen. Ok. 
Esa es una pregunta que tenemos en fácil, ¿ok? Have my safety goggles been stolen? In contrast to, have they stolen my safety goggles? Have they stolen my safety goggles? Ok. Here, here it doesn't matter who take the, the goggles. Ok. Solo estamos preguntando si alguien los robó. Ok. Have my safety goggles been stolen? Si se los han robado. So in this case we are asking, have they stolen my safety goggles? Ok. This question focuses on the safety goggles no in the person who stolen them. So, and then we have these examples, passive void questions. In this case, using past participle or present perfect, right? That are have, we can use have or has, plus this object, plus been, and then verb in past participle form. The same example that we have here, we have have, then the object, my safety goggles, and then being, and then the verb in past participle. That is exactly the structure that is describing here. Esa es la fórmula que está describiendo acá. Aquí tenemos exactamente aplicando esa fórmula. If we are using past participle, okay? But if we, if we are using another tense, si estamos usando otro tiempo, sería diferente esta fórmula. This formula, teacher, only use with uh, present perfect. Mm -hmm. Present perfect. Using, okay. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, tell me if you have questions related to this. If you want more examples, of course, that are going to bring more examples to you. I can bring them on Monday. Uh, we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So to work on it, to work on more examples, what we can do, let me open, let me open this, open the, open the homework, we're going to do the homework now, because it's about these exercises. This is very common for the native speaking English, use passive voice or active voice? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on the situation, right, that they are trying to explain. So we're going to do the exercises that we have there. So try to open your homework. We're going to work on that. Yes, I, I got it, Tishan. That is 4.3 in uh, section 4. Okay, okay. Okay. So Good. in the number one, choose the correct form of passive voice, present perfect passive, okay? I have finished the job. Okay. How we're going to make it passive? The job has been finished. Okay. The job has been finished by me. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, number two. The cat has drunk the milk. That is the active. How you're going to make it passive? T 
the meal has been drunk by the cat. Okay, the meal has been drunk by the cat. Very good. Number three. <clears throat> that is for Gilberto. The girls have puckle, puckle the flowers. So how you are going to make it passive? The, the flowers have been flocked by her. Flock. Flock by her. By her. Okay. Has been flocked by, by her. her. Okay, good. So, you, do you know what is the meaning of plock? It's like arrancar, mm -hmm. To pull, okay. Okay. Um, number four. I have washed the movie how we're going to make it passive that movie has been watched by me okay good Peter has broken another window Has been broken. Another window has been broken by Peter. Peter. Okay, very good. Good job. As you can realize, the structure that we have here is present perfect. Present perfect, passive. Okay, good job. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Excuse me. Uh, when you use have, uh, what what kind of tense uh, do you use? When we use have, what do you mean? Have uh, uh, the verb have. In in which one case uh, uh, I I will use. Do you mean had like H A D? H -A -D. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. This is an uh, imparticipal verb. Past participle, do you mean? Yes. Mm. Past participle, yes. Well, there are different ways that you can use it, right? Yes, but in this case, yes, will be pass, porque, porque está en pasado, had is en pasado. Okay. okay. Por ejemplo, si utilizamos aquí uh, esta, esta estructura, had been drunk. Yeah, that is pass, participle. Es pasado participio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So later on, we're going to see that. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Good. Uh, let me see the chat. Okay, Roberto says that it's rainy and he doesn't have electricity. Okay, Robert. Good. So we have here another examples, right? Complete the following sentences and questions in the passive voice. Choose the appropriate verb. Compare answer with your partners. Okay, here we're going, we have different verbs that we have issue, innovate, make, train, create, and give. Okay. Here we have um, 
the example. So we can go to the conversation if you want. And we can we can um read again the conversation that we had before. Let me go back. Let me see if I can take it from the from the material. We can use the conversation, so maybe that can help us. I will leave it here. Try to complete the six sentences, okay? May, try to make sense of each sentence that you can see there. Then we are going to read them. Remember to use the verbs that we have in the boxes uh, here. In the, the in the little charts here. Remember that you are going to change the bear to present perfect.
to make it passive, okay? Let me know when you are ready. Do you need more time, guys? Yes? Do you need extra minute? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, it's you. yes. Are you still working? Uh, I tried, teacher. But I think that we choose uh, the very specific 
um, putting the space in blank, right? Correct. So we're going to complete the sentences using the, the verbs there, but we're going to make it a uh, passive voice. Mm -hmm. We have sentences and we have questions. I will help you with the first one. It says, three new safety measures, three new safety measures. So do you know what is issue? Issue as an ounce can be a problem. Okay. Yes. But as, a, as a verb, it could be produce or provide. So in this case, the first one will be the three safety measures has been yeah. issued. Okay. Las tres, medi tres nuevas medidas de seguridad han sido anunciado. Has been issued. Oh. Mm -hmm. Issue okay. is the pen of the contest issue. Es como cuando fue creado. Ok. Mm -hmm. Podemos utilizar esa ahí. So we already used this one, right? Ok. What about number two? We have been, we have been made it new air plugs. Made or, or given? Given? We given. have been given? Yes. We have been giving new earth plugs, okay? De, nos han dado nuevos. Okay, good. So we have used two verbs. Okay, uh, what about number three? The new safety goggles are nice. They have been have been Innovate. Innovative. Innovative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have been innovative. What about number four? The new steel toe boots have been made. Has made been made. Made of genuine, genuine le Gen leather. Genuine leather. Genuine leather. Yes. Very good. Good job. We have just three, two here. It is talking about the new safety officer. Mm -hmm. Which one could we, be there? We have been trained the new safety officer. Okay, uh, it's a have... question. Uh huh. It is a question. Have you? Okay. Or have her? Or have? Uh -huh, have the new safety officer been trained? Trained. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
have been the new safety officer trained. Okay, and we are missing just one. Have been, have we been created. created. Have we been created a new helmet? Right. Have we, yes, teacher. Have. But because it's a question. We have a ah. question. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the to the questions. Okay, let me. We have here questions. No, oh, here we have questions in in the in in the conversation. Okay, have been taken away. Have been taken away. Have my safety goggle been stolen? Okay, that is why is have we been created by the new helmet? Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. So we completed all of them. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. In, in the number five. Mm, what the the sentences talk about the, the, the new off safety officer mm -hmm. uh, in this case oh, mm, always we have when there are no specific a, the subjects we always we have to use have or in the in in not depends from the if is uh, it or third person for example, I make these sentences, but with has. Oh, you are right. Yes, in this case, she she's a third person. Yes, will be has. Mm -hmm. Has the new safety officers, officer been trained? Porque estamos hablando solo de una persona, no estamos hablando de más. It says okay. officer only, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Yes, you are right. So it is the third person in that case. Has the new safety officer mm -hmm. been trained? Okay. okay, very good. Good observation. Okay. Mm, we have here an example, right? Has been designed. Okay. Do you have additional questions about... Uh, this grammatical point. Tell me, please. So I will bring more examples to practice extra exercises, okay? But if you don't have questions at this moment, so we're going to continue. The, uh, the following activities to practice because it's about practice, okay? Read the following paragraph and underline the passive voice sentences. Check your answer with your classmates. Okay, someone, a volunteer to read all these sentences? Teacher, excuse me. Each, each time the level increase, right? <laughs> of course. It yes. will. Because when you use the past participle, it's yes, it yeah, is so for it's intermediate. Obviously different. Yeah, for intermediate level. So you are in intermediate level. So yes, yes. Okay, volunteer to read this uh paragraph, please. Thank you so much, lady. Go ahead, lady. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he she I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, hopefully the new employees have been touched. To follow the rules by the book. I has been taught. Has been taught. 
-hmm. Okay, we're going to underline. We're going to underline um the voice, the passive voice. Okay, uh let me identify. Mm, Julio, tell me what is the first uh, passive voice sentence that we can identify in this paragraph? Employees have been touched to follow. Here, the first one. Tool oh. has been left. Left, disorganized. Okay, that is the first one. Okay. What is the second one? Manager has not been informed. 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 Okay. I wonder if he has been interested interested have been touched to follow okay good we have four sentences there that are uh, passive voice sentences right or can you identify another sentence Yes or not? No, right? No, teacher is only four sentences. Only four, right? Okay, good. Okay. Do you have questions? So are you ready to use passive voice? Do you need more practice? Teacher is very common when when you see in this paragraph is very common when you read uh whatever things in on the internet or or books or whatever. Yes, it is used a lot in different texts that you read. Okay, good. So, let me continue. We have another activity. Using uh, the grammatical points and also the topic that we have been talking about, we're going to focus now in this activity. It is a group work, okay? I'm going to make group work in order you can work on it. Choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lessons. Brainstorm the ideas on how to prevent accidents related to particular hazards. Design a poster featuring three safety measures. You can include more, okay? Uh, this is an example. You are going to design a, a poster for your work. Okay, to paste that on uh, um, whatever you consider that is necessary. Okay, attention it says new safety measures. Okay, to prevent falls, slips, or trips, remember to store all the tools in the proper location when not used. That is number one. Number two, keep all tools clean and good working conditions. Okay, in good, good working conditions. And number three, wear all safety gear while you are in this area. Okay, we have we have been discussing that before, right? So that we need to have the tools in the appropriate place to avoid any accidents. And also use uh, the appropriate, in this case, they means the appropriate device or tool to do the job that you are doing, right? 
Also, we were speaking about how to use the appropriate uh, shoes or, or clothes. It depends on the part that you are, okay? Um, and you can think um, in different uh, measures that you can take in your job, especially in the area that you work or in another areas that you consider that is more dangerous. I will send this to the chat. Let me see. In order you can work and I'm going to make um, the teams in order you can think. Okay, let me work on uh, the teams. You will have uh, no more than 10 minutes, that is, I consider that you can do it really fast. Or 15 minutes maximum, try to use uh, any tool that you consider appropriate to, to design your poster. Okay, we're going to have, um, let me see. Okay. So we're going to have Daniela, Julio, and Sofia. Daniela, are you there? Julio, are you available? Yes. Sofia, what about you? Sophie? Okay, Sofia is not available. Danny no, is not available. So I'm going to move you, Julio, to another team. I'm going to move you to team number two. So Julio, Gilberto, and Lady. Okay. Okay. Okay, number three, Andres, Carlos, and Cindy. Cindy, are you there? Cindy? Yes, miss. I'm here. Okay, thank you so much. Then we have Gabriela. Oh, Mauricio Buruca is not available. Mauricio, are you there? I don't know if you are still as a listener. Or... Mauricio, yes. Yes, yes, are I you hear there? you. Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. good. So you're going to work with uh, Gabby. Gabby, are you there? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And then we have Maria Leticia and Nancy. Are you there, Nancy? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, nice. I'm going to open the rooms so you can work now. You have 15 minutes from now. We have a 9.36. So it means that it means that our uh, Nine forty. No. At nine fifty one, you will be back. Okay, I will open the rooms.
هاي ليدي هاي دون جوليو الفيديو كي بيمو تيشر سوبر الفيديو كي بيمو لا 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 so you can think in different measures and uh, strategies any uh, rule that you consider to, that is good to have that in your in your work and you, uh, you can take ideas also about the video right but it's not exactly about about the video okay so you are going to create a posture that you consider that will help your co-workers to avoid accidents oh Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I send the instructions there to to the group. Okay. Brainstorm ideas. Entonces, pensemos en, hagamos una lluvia de ideas. Eh, como podrían ser peligros como de oficina. Sí, porque, bueno, donde yo trabajo es más o menos así, <ríe> no es como algo. Yo me golpeo la tierra de... <ríe> cada vez que paso cerca del escritorio me golpeo. <ríe> ah, pues hay que hacer medidas de seguridad sobre eso. <ríe> Tal vez... Uh... Tal vez podríamos hacer ajá, sobre posibles golpes por, por, por objetos mal ubicados. Podríamos sí. poner. Hello, hello. Yes, lady. Hi, teacher. Uh, es que quería presentar pantalla para elegir. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry. Ajá. Let me activate that. Uh, it's active now. Es que siempre se me olvida porque siempre automáticamente solo está como diseñado para que yo presente, ¿verdad? Pero ajá, ajá. tengo que darles permiso yo para que ustedes presenten. Es que estaba pensando cómo hacer con un tipo de video o algo así para mostrar. Mm, ok. Mm. New I will be in a in a different group. If you need help, just let me know, lady. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. Ah, hello. Ahora sí. sí. Estamos Bye. hablando de las instrucciones, entonces. Teacher, uh, 
go to my to habilitar the tools chair, please. It is now. It is active. Really? Yes, try. Sí, sí. Yo, yo estaba compartiendo la, las instrucciones. Sí, sí. Ah. Y Ajá. podemos compartir los dos. Mm, sí, pero tenemos que estar cambiando de... Por ejemplo, este, si yo quiero ver lo suyo, le tengo que dar arriba para cambiarlo. Y, ajá. Pero sí, sí se puede. Sí se mm. puede. Lo que yo poner. Quiero oh, ver, oh. Pero aquí no veo lo suyo. Usted compartió lo, lo de la teacher, ¿verdad? Ahí está. Sí, arriba. Arriba no lo veo. Bueno, quiero ver. Quiero ver si deja de compartir. Ahí está, ahí está. Ese es lo suyo, ¿verdad, Andrés? Cabal. Sí. Ok. Entonces. Ah, aquí, aquí le compartieron ya el WhatsApp también. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted decía, Andrés, que, que hacerte de una bodega o, o fábrica, algo así, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que pasa es que según está viendo las reglas que usted había encontrado, se asimilan como a trabajar, como un peligro de trabajar en, en una fábrica. Ah, sí, como, como en plantas de producción o, o, Ajá, claro. o podría ser este... Sí, o póngale en, 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 en estas empresas de gas, se paga tropigas, no sé. O las textiles, bueno, en todo caso. Teacher, the correct word, if I want to say peligros, I have to use hazard or dangers. Correct. Hazards. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I... If I want to, wow, well, well, yo sí, San, es solo una suposición, suppose, if I use dangers, dangers, it's not correct in a context. You said dangers? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, you can use it too, right, but it, you need to be very specific what uh kind of dangers kind of dangers oh, okay uh -huh. dangers mm -hmm. okay but hazard issue? that is more general mm. that is like something that is dangerous it mm -hmm. is more general uh huh oh, okay hazard teacher when i put the oppress the button of my car when the lights green pispilea uh, uh, I don't know how to say <laughs> pispilea or, or activate Flash. The, the precaution light mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in some case in some car the button says uh, maybe hazard or something like that hazard mm -hmm. Yes, identify. Identify if that is uh if you need to check, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mo well the 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 modern uh vehicles they have like a different systems, right? Identify any it's any like hazards. Checking. Yeah. <laughs> checking. <laughs> Check in. <laughs> yeah, you need to, to check what is happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, okay uh, Carlos, uh, in, the, in the chat, I grow, I grow, the, I write it. The, the title. <laughs> uh, hazard or working in a factory ah okay yeah hazard. that is a like the hazard of course mm -hmm. <clears throat> es el peligro que, y de ahí podría este está correcto lo que usted las reglas para trabajar en un lugar seguro allá podemos las, las rules 
the rules, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. The rules, yeah. We can talk. Pero, pero aquí We dicen can talk. La, los peligros de trabajar en una... Ah, ok, los peligros de trabajar en una fábrica. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, porque es lo que estaba viendo yo de que este eh, más o menos se eh, este ajá, peligros de trabajar en una fábrica. Ajá, ajá se asocian a, a las reglas que, que les la puse regla, por ahí. ¿verdad? Exacto. Ah, ok, de, denme un chance, quiero ver. Se lo voy a ver por ahí. Pronto. Sí, o, o, o no, no se lo veo. Sí, yo, yo sí lo veo. Ah, ok. Sería pues este. Ahí, el primero okay. sería este. Día. El primero. Sí. You are responsible for your own safety and for the safety of others. All accidents are pre prevent preventable. How do you say preventable? Preventable. 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 Se pueden ser prevenidos. Uh -huh. uh, do not take shortcuts. I was following the rules. Mm -hmm. If you are not trained, don't do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use the right tool and equipment and use them in the right way. Mm -hmm. What's mean asset, teacher? Asset the risk before you approach. Assess. It. Assess. Mm -hmm. Examina. I like the, the rule number four. If you are not trained, it, don't, don't do it. it. Don't do it. Some <laughs> people in my company that they don't have the license, license of you of use a weapon, but they always joke with a, with the weapons. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. They, they job. They some some of them wants to clean the weapons for the for from their own Not really but they don't have the training appropriate training for do that mm -hmm. so sometimes for that reason so there are a lot of accidents that someone mm -hmm. dispara el solo <laughs> yes yes it's very at the shop do you say this dispara el solo por un error Shoot. Shot disparation by mistake. Shot by itself. mistake. Disparation. For a few. Activate itself for a mistake. Oh. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, man. I mean, that the action happens by mistake, right? So you can say yeah. shot by mistake. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, ask the read ah ask the read before you approach your work. He approaches what mean approach. Let me see which one. Number six. Number six, ask the risk before you approach your work. Approach. Approach. Um es como evalúa el riesgo. De, antes de que te acerques a tu trabajo, al área de trabajo. Approach mm, es acercarse. Approach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Approach. Esa palabra me suena a ti, será otra que, que ya he visto por ahí. Uh -huh. Es como... Es como cuando te dicen que no metas los dedos en, en algo. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Don't, don't reach, reach. Or... Pero no es diferente la, el, el means, ¿verdad? Mire, sí es. Number seven, never wear loose clothes or slippery clothes. Okay, I will be in another group. If you need help, just let me know, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Well, I consider water. that, yes, I will give you extra time because, yes, you need to extra time, right? Okay.
Hey, que sí, mi... Hello, hello. How are you doing here? How is everything? Um, it's fine. Just organize the ideas. Organize. Organizing that. <laughs> the ideas in the... In the imagine. In, okay. For the poster that you're going to create, right? Remember that you're going to create a poster. So it means that you, you need extra time, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will give you until the end. So uh, at 9.58, I'm going to close the rooms. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Remember, you can share your screen. Podríamos poner como este otra sala de objetos, objetos en áreas de construcción, creo yo, o sea, objetos siempre de trabajo. Ajá, objetos que, objeto que obstruyen el, el paso en áreas de... Eso. Ajá, en áreas de tráfico podría ser. Uh -huh. Tráfico, tráfico, bueno, tráfico peatonal, vea, lógicamente. Uh -huh. Sí. Okay. En zona. Tenemos tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, vaya. Hoy veamos este, las posibles soluciones. Ajá, posibles soluciones. Bueno, la número uno. Tendríamos señalización. Señalización. E iluminación. Ajá, exacto. Señalización y iluminación. De... En áreas... En áreas de escaleras o en áreas donde se encuentran escaleras. Ajá, sí, en áreas donde se encuentran escaleras. O en áreas de escaleras, ¿verdad? Igual que... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. y señalización, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. El otro del derrame de líquidos, ¿qué podríamos poner? En mm. área de peatonal o oh. de paso peatonal le podemos poner, pero paso. ¿Y sería como paso restringido? Mm. Ah, bueno, como paso restringido y señalización también, ¿verdad? Podría... Señalización, como del espacio, del, no, del... Como de precaución, digamos. Precaución y... Este... ¿Qué podemos poner aquí? Ah. Y, sí, y el reportar o algo así. O primero reportarlo y después señalarlo. Ah, eh, sí, reportarlo y este. Y um, reportarlo y este. ¿Cómo sería este? Ah, resolver el. El, el, el resolver el. ¿Cómo sería? ¿El derrame de líquido? ¿Sí? Uh -huh. En el área y atención inmediata. Atención inmediata. Ajá, sí, perfecto. Atención inmediata. Inmediata. Sería ajá, reporte del accidente y señalización de precaución en el área y atención inmediata. 
Sí. Y de ahí sería objetos que obstruyen el paso peatonal en zonas frías. Sí. Uh, objetos que obstruyen el paso peatonal en áreas este, de, de, de tráfico, le pusimos, ¿verdad? O de... De tráfico, de, en áreas de tráfico. Bye. podríamos poner organización del espacio mejor organización del espacio Ajá. o no sé cómo no se sé, podría poner o eh, bueno lo, eh, quizás uno sería señalización siempre uh -huh. porque en estos casos um, Por ejemplo, no solo es en la parte del, de, de, por, por decir algo, no solo en la parte del piso donde a veces hay este. Okay. Did you finish? No yet, teacher. No. Okay, don't worry. So I will Not give yet, you teacher. I will give you extra time on Monday to complete it. Okay? So okay, now just I want to ask or I want to request the ones that I haven't complete completed yet the sections one, two, and three and the meter exam. And so far, we need to have a, a homework two in the section four, forty percent, right? So, please do it this weekend, okay? Because I need to report your scores. Thank you so much, uh, for your attendance today, for your participation, and everything, and that is um everything today. So, see you on Monday. Okay, have Good a nice morning. weekend. Have a nice weekend. Uh, Take have care. Good night, teacher. Week. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.